hi everyone. So um, I'm Edward and welcome to uh, Mathy classes today. And the topic I'm going to share with you all is uh, log. Okay. So many students get confused with this topic, but actually this topic is very easy. Okay. And all of my students have got at least a level six in their unit test. Okay. For this topic. So uh, right now I will review the exam techniques and also all the things that you need to know in this chapter. Okay. Yeah. So first, what does it mean by log? So log uh, is always BRP okay what is BRP so you can write this down okay B is the base okay base okay and then R is what R is the result okay so you can first write this down okay and I'll explain it to you later okay so power yeah so you get this right okay so um, log let's say so let's look at this example okay so log 10 100 so log 10 100 is equal to how many so just think of 10 to the power of what equals to 100 okay so 10 to the power 2 yeah 10 to the power 2 equals to 100 okay so log calculates the power of the base okay so let's look at one more case so log 3 uh, 3 to the power 2 okay so what does it mean so you need to calculate the power okay so think of this three okay three to the power what equals the three to the power two so obviously is three to the power two okay yeah so you get this right okay so let's look at uh let's look at this log 5 25 okay so first you think of okay log okay so this one is the base this one is the result okay so what log calculates is the power okay so you think of 5 to the power of what equals to 25 so obviously it's 2 right okay so next log 4 16 so easy right so 4 to the power 2 equals to 16 okay and this question log 10 1000 so 10 to the power of what equals to 1000 so obviously is 3 okay yeah so you get this right good okay and another thing that students get confused is ln so what does it mean by ln okay so ln is log to the base e okay they're the same thing same thing okay but you should know that ln okay is log to the base e right here right okay so the base e the e here uh what does it mean so e is just like pi is 2.71 something okay so it's a number representing symbol okay you, you don't need to be afraid of that so the concept is the same so the base here is e okay and the result is e to the power one right okay so basically you can just think of okay e to the power what equals to e to the power one so obviously it's e to the power one right okay what log calculates is the is the power okay so power one okay e to the e to the power one equals to e to the power one Yep. Okay. And same thing. E to the power what equals this result. So obviously the power has to be for x plus one. Okay. Yeah. So you get this right. Good. Okay. And then L N E four. Okay. So L N E four. So in the exam you won't see log to the base e. Okay. They always write this in L N. Okay. Yeah. So L N E four. So you know that is L N uh, is log to the base e. Right. Okay. So basically. You know that log to the base e, yeah, okay, e to the power four, right? So think of this. So e to the power what equals to e to the power four? So you know that. So it's equal to four, right? Good. Okay. And last question here. So is ln, okay, e, oh ln is log to the base e, right? So and then e to the power five x plus one. Okay. So basically, you know the answer, I think. So just the power right so the power e to the power 5 x plus 1 you will have this result okay so you all get this right okay but I will teach you a faster way to do this kind of questions okay because uh, for ln this kind of questions okay you you don't need to actually write log to the base e and then to find out the answer okay so a faster way is okay so you can uh, look at the screen uh, is same okay base same result okay so first you write this down okay same result okay so what does it mean so let's say log um, 10 10 to the power 3 okay so you can see same base and the same result here right you can cross it out and then you will only have the power left okay so that's the scale okay so let me erase this okay okay so let's look at one more case okay yeah 
So ln, okay, e to the power 5x plus 2x squared, let's say. So no matter how complicated the power is, whenever you see same base, okay, so ln is locked to the base e, right? So same base, and then you can, and this one is same result, right? So you can eliminate, eliminate that, and then you will have only the power left. So 5x plus 2x squared, okay? Yeah, so let's move on to uh, some IB exam questions, okay? So first question you can see is ln e and then 5x plus 4, right? Okay, equals to 6. Okay, so the question asks you to find x. So find x, find the unknown of this one, right? Okay, so how do you solve this? So I, I've just taught you right now, uh, same base, same result, right? So ln is locked to the base e, so you can always cross it out, okay? And then the power only the power left, right? So 5x plus 4 equals to 6. So x is equal to how many? So you know that 6 minus 4 is 2, and then 5x divided by 5. Okay, so x is equal to 2 over 5. Okay? Yeah, okay, question 2. So question 2, you can see. So e to the power 5x equals 10. Okay, so how do you find x? So first thing you need to think of is you have to eliminate the e, right? How do you eliminate e? Okay, so both sides you can take what? So you can take ln, okay, ln. ln is locked to the base e, right? So ln 10. Okay, so because you have the same base and same constant, uh, same result, right? So you can cross it out, and then it will be only the power left, 5x equals to ln 10, okay? So x is equal to ln 10 over 5, okay? So usually this kind of questions in IB exam is usually uh, two, two, uh, two more questions, okay? Yeah, usually two more questions. Okay, and then question three. Question three, uh, four to the power five x equals to 10. Okay, so how, how do you do this? So we use ln to eliminate e, right? Okay, but to eliminate four, to eliminate four, okay, so you should take log to the base what? Okay, it's because we have to find five, we have to find x, right? Okay, so we have to eliminate the four. Okay, so we have to take log to the base four, okay? 5x equals to log to the base 4, 10, okay? So don't need to be afraid of um, taking a different base, okay? So basically, why do we need to take base 4, okay? So you just need to know, because we want to eliminate the 4, okay? So we take log base 4, same base, same result, so we can cross it out, okay? So it will be 5x and then it's log 4, okay? 10, yeah, okay. So, and then the final answer would be log 4, 10 over 5. Okay, yeah, so do you all get this one? Good. Okay, so let's move on to domain and range, okay? So this kind of question is very easy, but many students find this very difficult. So actually, uh, yeah, right now I'll show you the pattern how to do this kind of questions, okay? So first you should know domain and range, they're actually, actually the same word, okay? But domain refers to x-axis, okay? The range of x. So the range of x, so it's called domain. And the range of y is called uh, range of y, right? Okay, it's called range, yep. So domain refers to x, x-axis, right? The horizontal line, okay, and y refers to the vertical line, okay, vertical axis, yep. Okay, so the range of that is called, yeah, so range of y is called range, okay? Yeah, but how, how this concept is related to uh, log questions, okay? First, you should uh, know that log is the combination of what? B, R, P, right? So B, R, P. What log calculates uh, is the power, okay? So let's say log base 10 right now, okay? And result is R, power is P, right? So 10 to the power P is equal to this result, right? Okay, so we can write this in this way, okay? So 10 to the power P equals the result, yep. Okay, so um, p if p po if p is positive, okay, so r is equal to uh, what r r must be ten to the power let's say power two, okay, r must be a positive number, right? Okay, so how about if p is zero? So ten to the power zero is what? C power zero is always equal to one, right? So one is also a what kind of number? It's also a positive number, right? Okay, so uh, what if p is a negative number, okay? So power negative uh, 10 to the power negative 1, let's say. 
So what will you have? You have 1 over 10 is a fraction, right? But it's still positive. Okay, so the conclusion is that you can see the result, okay, must always be positive, okay, in log. So what does it mean by result? So it's the bracket inside, okay? So this is called result, yep. And you can write this down. Result is always bigger than zero, okay? Yeah, so when you know result is always bigger than zero, that's how you find out the domain, okay? So let me show you how to do um, uh, this question, okay? Yeah, so let's say, uh, let's look at this one, question A. Okay, log 10x, so how do you find domain? Okay, so domain, first step, you know that, refer to x, right? So we look at the bracket here, yep, okay. So the log, so log x right here, yep, okay. So x has to be what? x is the result, so x has to be bigger than zero, right? Okay, so that's the domain, yep. Okay, and then log 4, okay, so find the domain of this one, okay, x minus 2. So x minus 2 here is what? Is the result. So x minus 2, okay, has to be bigger than 0, yep. Okay, so x is bigger than 2, okay? Yeah, okay, question C, log 5, 3x minus 1, right? Okay, so how do you find a domain? So think of the x, okay, so x is inside this bracket, right? Okay, and this bracket is the result, so result must be bigger than 0, okay? It cannot be wrong. So 3x, minus 1 bigger than 0, okay? x must be bigger than 1 over 3, okay? So that is the domain, okay? Yeah, so always remember, result, okay? No matter what the power is, result must be always positive in log, okay? Okay, but how about range, okay? So we know that range, okay, so refers to y, right? But what does it mean by y here? So y is at the same time the power, right? Because log calculates the power, okay? So b, r, and then p, right? So y is at the same time p. Okay, so refer to p. So let's look at this uh, this example, okay? So right now the base is 10, okay? And the result is r, power is p, right? And we can write this in this way, yep. So 10 to the power p equals to r. Okay, so p can be positive, negative, or zero, right? Okay, but r must be always bigger than zero, yep. Okay, so but p you can see, because it can be anything, it can be any number, it can be positive, negative, or zero, right? Okay, so it means P, okay, can be the elements of real numbers, okay? So, elements of all real numbers, it means P can be any number, right? Okay, so, uh, and if they ask you, if the question asks you to find the range, okay, of the log, so it's always Y, E, R, okay? So, this is the key point. Yep, so let's look at uh, some questions here. Okay, so let's say the first question, okay? Question A, log 10x, right? Okay, so y equals to log 10x. So find the range. So range is always y, e, r. Yep, okay, because the power can be anything, okay? Let's look at uh, question B. Okay, so no matter how complicated the uh, log is, so we just look at the y. Okay, so y is always y, e, r right? Because power can be anything. Okay, question C is also y, e, r as well. Okay, yeah, so if you know these two skills, okay, then uh, I think next time when you see uh, this kind of questions appear in your test, you can ace all the questions, okay? So this kind of question is usually two more questions, okay? So let me summarize the skills we, we have just learned. So to find the domain, okay, always remember it must be the result bigger than zero, okay, in log questions. And then range, okay, is easy. It's always y, e, r, okay? Yeah, so I hope this video uh, can help you. And uh, if you want more help, you can uh, register our free trial lesson and we'll help you uh, live, okay? Yeah, so I hope to see you next time in our center.